Nice to have you with us. Hello there, sports fans. I'm Mark Summers. And I'm Harvey. And we're here for a super sloppy, super spectacular football extravaganza. You know, Mark, the field is filled with the kind of slop we've come to expect here at the Slime Bowl. And the weather conditions just couldn't be better. You know that, Harv? I couldn't agree more, Mark. And I think it's time to go down to the field for the starting lineup, so join us right now. For the red team, playing defensive lineman for the Redskins, Dave Butt. And his teammate, already a terror, son Dave Jr. And for the blue team, linebacker for the New York Giants, Harry Carson. And his teammates voted MVP in sloppiness, daughter Asia. Ready. Set. Hey. 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 Thank you. We're going to have a dandy show here, a real humdinger, a real Wo Nelly kind of game. And we are having Super Sloppy Double Dare on Super Bowl weekend. And we have two great players, and uh, actually four, and we're going to meet them right about now. I would like you to say hello to a gentleman who plays for the Washington Redskins. A big welcome for Mr. Dave Butts. Do you know what you're getting yourself into, Dave? No, not really, but uh, <laughs> we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it as well. We have some tape, as a matter of fact, uh, of you in action. Let's take a look as we watch and see number 65. Uh, not really having too much trouble getting where he wants to go, uh, right there on the field. And if you notice there, yeah. And coming off the field there with you is your son, carrying your helmet. And I'd like you to say hello to him, audience. Say hello to Mr. Dave Jr., Dave Butts Jr. How old are you, Dave? I'm 11 years old. 11, and do you uh, plan to be a pro football player? Oh, well, I'm not sure. I do like playing sports, though. So. What position do you play now? Um, well, I guess quarterback at football, if you want to say. Very nice. Welcome to you. And we have a team over here to my right. Uh, this gentleman plays for the New York Giants. A big welcome for Mr. Harry Carson. <laughs> welcome, Harry. Uh, you don't have any Gatorade to uh, splash onto me today, I hope, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I hope not. We also have some great footage of you, so let's take a look. And we know that you have your own version of uh, super sloppy physical challenges. Let's take a look here as you start to sneak up, I believe, on your coach. And a little sneak attack. Number, <laughs> number one. And we have a couple of, <laughs> couple of those popping up there on the screen. Here comes number two. Whoa! So we'll hope that uh, I'm safe from that today. And uh, playing with you today is your daughter. Say hello to Asia. How old are you, Asia? Nine. Nine years old. And do uh, you participate in sports as well? No. What do you like to do for fun? Watch Double Dare. Oh, good. <laughs> You're a ventriloquist. I didn't even see your lips move there, Asia. That was terrific. Well, we have some uh, great teams, and let's talk about the rules here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. I'm going to be asking you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck over here to the New York Giants side with Harry Carson and Dave Butts and the Washington Redskins. Have 20 points, $20, and control of round one. For $10, what's the only NFL team, the only NFL team name that is also a color? Not the city, but the team name. It's worth 10 or you can dare them. Um, the Browns. That's right, the Cleveland Browns. Nice job. $30 is what you have. That's my boy, Dan. <laughs> All right, still have control. Another $10 question. What is Icky Wood's real first name? It's worth 10 or you can dare them. Dare. All right, now it's worth 20. Put yourselves on the board, Harry. What's Icky Wood's real first name? Or you can double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 40, trying to find out what Icky's real name is, or you can take the physical challenge. Physical challenge. Uh, his name is Albert. Albert is his name, and we have a physical challenge right down over here. Come on, down. 
you could step all the way down, as a matter of fact, and Dave, if you could step down as well. Now, Dave, I, you look like the kind of guy who doesn't get too angry. Am I correct in assuming yeah. that? Uh, Basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not going to try and make you angry. What we're going to do, I know from time to time baseball players get sent to the showers early. Has that ever happened to you in a game? Uh, not yet, no. Well, today we're going to change that. I'd like you to have a seat right over here, if you would, please. I, I and thought you too. You thought I'd say that. Have a seat facing our audience, and we are going to uh, put on some shoulder pads. Actually, uh, you know, it might be better facing us, because we want your son to see how good you look in all this great equipment we have here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. Put that on your shoulders, and we're going to put a helmet on you. Now, I'd like you to start over here, because when I say go, I'm going to ask you to run across there to your dad, and your dad will take off the helmet, which uh, doesn't... Oh, there we go. That looks terrific. <laughs> we're going to take the helmet off, and he's going to hand it to you, and you're going to run back here, and we have some shampoo. And then your job is to take the shampoo and put it all over his head, because, you know, after you uh, play a hot game and, and get all sweaty, you want to be really clean, right? Right. So you put that shampoo on. Now, after you put the shampoo on him, you have to take his shoulder pads off, and he can help you. Bring those back and put them on the table. And after a game, you're probably real sore, don't you think? Yeah. Well, we have some liniment here, so we want you to take this whole container of liniment and pour it all over his shoulders, all right? All right. Then, when you're done with that, you don't want all that stuff remaining on your father. So if you just pull on this, we have some water over there to sort of rinse him off, all right? So if you can do that in 20 seconds or less, we're going to give you $40. Let's see what happens. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Super Sloppy Challenge on Super Sloppy Double Dare. Here, two contestants are trying to find bananas buried under icky ooze with their bare feet. There's two seconds left. Will they do it? You make the call. Remember, when you mop around your ears, stay around the outside. Don't go in the inside. That's where all the good stuff is. This is another health tip from Super Sloppy Double Dare. With just two seconds left, the contestants made a great effort, but it was just too sloppy. If you said they couldn't do it, you made the right call in our viewing audience. He's on Fox 5. Adults may now rejoin our viewing audience. Welcome back to Super Sloppy Double Dare. Super Bowl weekend. We just did the wave for you. Audience is having a great time here today, and we found out that Dave Butts uh, went to the showers early and took it very well. He and his son have $70 in control, and we have another $10 question for them. What Peanuts character is always ruining Charlie Brown's attempts to kick a football? Bring you up to 80. Uh, Lucy. Lucy is right. You have $80. Now, at this time of the game, I would normally tell the other side that they have no money, but when there's somebody like Harry Carson there, you just kind of go over there, okay? Uh, we have a Super Bowl soup question for you. The Super Bowl is being played at Miami this year. Now, according to Campbell's Soups, the residents of Miami eat more of what variety of Campbell's Soup than any other city? Is it wonton, clam chowder, or meatball alphabet? Or you can dare them. Clam chowder? Clam chowder is incorrect. Uh, the answer is wonton. No dare at stake, no money changing place. But control over here to Harry Carson in Asia from the New York Giants. Now get on the board here. What former San Diego place kicker recently replaced Pat Sajak as daytime host of Wheel of Fortune? Or you can dare them. Rolf Bernerska. Yes, you got it. $10 out of there. Rolf Bernerska. I understand Pat's going to be a kicker for the San Diego Chargers now. I don't know if you heard that or not. What's the only position that football and hockey share? Bring you up to 20 or you can dare them. Dare. All right, now we're at 20. Trying to find out the only position that football and hockey share would bring you up to $100. Center? Center is right, and that's what you have, $100. Good going there, guys. All right, control back to Dave and Dave Jr. Now, Alex Karras, formerly of the Detroit Lions, is on a TV show called Webster. What's his character's name, first and last name? Bring you to 110, or you can dare them. Dare. Now, worth 20 would bring you to 30. What's Alex Karras' name on Webster, first and last? Or you could double dare them back. 
Quickly before time runs out. Double dare. Now worth 40. Do you know his name or do you want to take the physical challenge? Physical challenge. George Papadopoulos is his name, and we have another physical challenge right down over here. And, uh, yeah, let's just step right over here, Dave. Now, during uh, New Year's weekend, <laughs> I love the way you're looking at this. During New Year's weekend, you probably lo watched a lot of bowl games, didn't you? Yes, yes, definitely. What was the one that excited you the most? Well, I'll tell you what, I think this one's going to do it for me right here. <laughs> Well, this is what we've uh, come up with called the Slime Bowl. And actually, you're on the right, uh, wrong side. You need to be over there. And Dave Jr., if you could come over here for me. Inside this vat of chocolate, what we have are these little guys that bounce up and down. You see them uh, on people's desks and maybe on the backs of cars. We have five of these green guys in here. But the problem is we also have five of the yellow guys in here. So what I want you to do, Dave, is to dig these guys out and find the five green ones. Sound pretty easy? Not really. You're going to make it harder, right? Well, no. I want, I really am going to make it easy for you because, you know, what I'm going to do is it's hard to see exactly how good these things look. So we have a water uh, hose here, and all you have to do as soon as your dad pulls one of these up is just sort of hose it down to make sure you have the green one, all right? As soon as we have five green ones within, what is it, 20 seconds, you're going to get $40. Otherwise, the money goes to the other side. Let's put some goggles on over here and a little goggle action going on over there. Looking for five green guys. Let's see if they can pull it off. $40 at stake. Good luck. Uh, no, you can't help. You just get to spray. You got the good job. On your mark. Get set, go, reach out, and see if you can find them. Grab one up. Get him off. That's a good one. Can we do it? That's the yellow one. You got one green one. You can go all over the place. Uh, that's the yellow one. You only have one green. There's another green. That's two. There's three green. We're all not going to get you. Two more green, guys. We have four seconds left. There's one more. You need one more. Oh, four out of five doesn't do it. Let's put $40 over there for Harry, and let's move on back. You finally found it, but time ran out. Thanks. Let's move on up here. Well, four out of five doesn't quite do it. We needed five out of five. Forty dollars goes over here to Harry Carson in Asia. They now have 50, and they are only $50 away from the lead. Here's your question worth $10. Now, we were just talking about bowl games, and you know the Rose Bowl probably is the granddaddy of all the bowl games, first played back in 1902. Now, one of the following lesser-known bowl games, which is the oldest of these, the Sun Bowl, the Gator Bowl, or the Tidy Bowl? <laughs> the lesser-known bowl games, which is the oldest? Gator Bowl? The Gator Bowl is incorrect. It's the Sun Bowl, and that means no dare was at stake. No money changing place. Control goes back over here to Dave and Dave Jr. Worth $10 now, guys. O.J. Simpson stands next to Arnie Palmer for what car rental company? Hertz is right. Add another $10, and we now have $110 over here for Dave and Dave Jr. Well, that's how it means it's the end of the first half, and we find out that Dave Butts and Dave Jr. have $110, $50 over here for Harry Carson at Asia. We are going to come back in just a second with a $40 toss-up, still anybody's game. We have a super sloppy obstacle course. Don't go away. We're going to have a lot more action here on Super Sloppy Double Dare on Super Bowl weekend. Super Sloppy Double there on Super Bowl weekend, and this is round two. That means all the dollar values will be doubled, and when you hear this particular sound right here, that means the game is over. We have lockers over here, red lockers. Over here, blue lockers. Now, is your room always clean? No. No, I have a feeling it may look something like this. Well, what we want you to do to get $40 in control of round two is to stuff all that junk back in the lockers and close all the doors. As soon as all that junk is off the floor on the blue or red side, and all the doors are closed without you guys holding them. You'll get $40 in control of round two. Good luck. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go! Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the matter? Harvey. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Blue team offside. Red team illegal procedure. Harvey, what's that mean? Uh, my underwear's a little small here. Uh, <laughs> all setting penalties down over. All right, we'll try it one more time. But don't jump off. On your mark, get set, go! Let's add $40 and let's move back and play some more. 
Super Sloppy Double there. Another $40 added to the score of Dave and Dave Jr. They now have $150 in this round, though. $20, $40, $80, and a double there. Let's see what happens. Goldie Hawn coached a high school football team in what movie? Wildcats. Right, that's right, Wildcats. Football, football, football. 170 now. Cincinnati and San Francisco played once before in a Super Bowl. It was Super Bowl 16. Where was Super Bowl 16 held? Would bring you to 190 or you could dare them. California. It's incorrect. It's Detroit. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Control goes over here to Harry and Asia. What's the name of the University of Akron's football team? Is it the Tire Irons, the Zips, or the Yellow Jackets? Or you can dare them. The Zips. You are right. At $20, you now have 70 Okay, Harry and Asia, a little football math for you. Take a safety times the kids on the Brady Bunch divided by a field goal plus the kids on the Hogan family and give me the answer. We'll bring you to 90, or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now worth $40. A safety times the kids on the Brady Bunch divided by a field goal plus the kids on the Hogan family equals what? Or you could double dare them back. Seven. You are right. Nice job. That is incredible. Two times six equals 12, divided by three equals four, plus three is seven. $210 is what the Butts family has. Who lost? the very first Super Bowl. We know who won it, but who lost it? Dare. Now worth $40. Who lost the very first Super Bowl? Bring you to 110. Kansas City. You are right. $110 over there for you. All right, 110 to 210, $100 separating our two teams. What sports casting legend had a cameo role in Woody Allen's Bananas? Yeah. Now worth $40. Can you tell me what sport casting legend had a cameo role in Woody Allen's Bananas? Double there. Now worth 80 Who's the person or you can take the physical challenge? Physical challenge. <laughs> it was Howard Cosell. All right, we have a physical challenge right over here. Worth $80. Come on down. Here's what we're going to do. Now, you're always on the field, Harry, and you probably never get a chance to sit in the cheap seats, right? That's correct. Well, we have some cheap seats over here. So I want you to have a seat here, Asia, and here I want you to have a seat right over here, all right? Facing the audience right over there, or facing uh, the cameras, actually, over there. You have a seat right over here, Harry, and Asia, you have a seat right over there. Now, normally, if you go to a uh, game, you have to have a hot dog, so you take that hot dog, and then you have to have some popcorn, so you hold on to that popcorn. And, of course, somebody always wants some mustard, so you better hold on to that No, 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 Asia, that's not for you. And uh, maybe somebody wants some ketchup, so hold on to that. And then there's always a drink, so you got to hold on to this drink there, uh, uh, Harry. Hold on to the drink. And then, of course, you can't go wrong by having a pennant. There you go. Well, I don't know how we're going to do this. Yeah, there you go. Hold on to it like that. Now, when I say go, what you have to do is pass this stuff over here to Asia. And then get up and run all the way around here, if you would, Harry, and have a seat. And Asia, you then pass it to your dad. You get off, run all the way around here. Your dad should end up over here. And as soon as that happens, if you do it in 30 seconds or less, we're going to give you... Is it 20 seconds? 20 seconds or less, we're going to give you... $80. 30 seconds is what they're telling me. 30 seconds, that's right. All right, so you understand what you have to do? If any of it drops, don't forget to pick it up. All right, Harry, good luck. On your mark, get set, go! Pass it over here. Chance to go to our super sloppy obstacle course today and over here twenty dollars separated our two teams and 190 is not enough we're going to add one thousand dollars and give it to your favorite charity which is what uh the coalition for the homeless in new york terrific very nice for uh sending us to them so that's one thousand one hundred ninety dollars 
and our congratulations, and we're going to take a trip to the Super Sloppy Obstacle Course here on Super Sloppy Double Dare, and we'll be back with that right after this. Reasons to watch Super Sloppy Double Dare, number 18, the Kid Farm. Where else would a normal-sized kid scramble through a giant ant farm for big, big prizes? Super Sloppy Double Dare. It's not just a game show. Back to Super Sloppy Double Dare on Super Bowl weekend. We have Dave and Dave Jr. Dave Butts here. They won $210. They are our grand prize winners. And uh, we are going to give you $500 for each obstacle that you complete successfully today. And it's going to what charity? Um, the Triple Children's Fun Hospital. Terrific. Thank you so much for that. And uh, it's one big happy family. So we've asked Asia and Harry to run as well. So everybody go to your obstacles. And we're going to start off here with obstacle number one with Dave Butts. And you will start off when I say go. Gee, I can't believe it. On this little teeny bicycle. Don't go just yet. What we're going to ask you to do is crash through that wall pick up the flag and then you'll hand it over here to asia who will go through foot locker and you know what that is over there okay. oh damn yes i knew you could figure that out somewhere amongst all that gook you will find a flag grab it and run over here and give it to harry harry you have to jump into this boat and go across lake double there the flag is way over there and you will be met over on that side of the lake by dave jr and dave will grab that flag and come over here to the popcorn now they told you how to do this didn't they just pull it right on down and amongst all those turtles you will find a flag grab that flag pass it over here to your dad and you'll go to hello dummy push this tackling dummy all the way over here and grab this flag where you'll come to obstacle number six and at six we're going to find asia once again the big kahuna run up that slide and go down but don't forget to push the flag before you come all the way down you'll be in the sand pit where harry carson will be waiting patiently grab that flag and go inside here let's take a look and see what it looks like once you go inside there turn it on guys if you would please there we go popping up there you get to run through all that good all right you can send off uh snowstorm and come off the other side with that flag you'll come over here to obstacle number eight where dave butts jr will go through pipeline he'll come through one two three and if you can grab that flag in 60 seconds or less we're going to give them four thousand dollars to their charity all right let's move over here to obstacle number one where we have Dave Butts ready to go. Audience, cheer them on. Let's set the clock for 60 seconds. On your mark. Get set. Go! All the way to Bye. Yeah. We got we, five seconds. Oh no, we have three, two, one. Bye. Five.